Welcome to another video on Sam's Oakage Trains, and today I will be discussing my favorite accessory I have here on the layout. My favorite piece, as you can probably tell, is the 3472 automatic refrigerated milk car. This piece was arguably the most iconic piece of the post-war era. It encouraged the consumer to continue to buy from Lionel, suggesting that just a train and some track was not enough. This piece was very reliable and needed little maintenance. Due to the high popularity of this piece, Lionel created multiple variations. The first variation was the number 3462 created in 1947. The number 3472 followed and then the final variation was the number 3482 which was produced in 1955. The version I have in my collection is the number 3472. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the details on this model as well. The model has a white body with a somewhat cream color for the doors. The product number and the name is printed on the left and the Lino logo is printed on the right. The car features some molded in details as well. On the top, the hatch reveals the chute to reload the milk cars. Now along with just the car, the accessory also comes with the stand. The stand is metal and the milk cans have magnets on the bottom. The magnets are not super strong. The only purpose for the magnets is to help prevent them from flying off the stand. If you've enjoyed the video so far, hit that subscribe button. It shows me that my viewers are interested in the content that I create. It motivates me to create more videos for you guys, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what you see so far. During the filming of some b-roll shots, some of the milk cars ended up jamming in the chute. I had to open the box car to fix the issue. I decided to film the process and show off how cool this post-war accessory really is. The other reason why I decided to show you this process is because I didn't know how to open it up myself. I ended up having to do a lot of researching and found one video that kind of showed me the process, but not very clearly, so I decided to do that today. So if you have any problems with this accessory or one similar to it, you can do this yourself. To disassemble the car, first, detach the doors from the shelf. Then you must remove the metal clips. I use an eyeglass flathead screwdriver to pry the metal bar from the clip. Then, lightly squeeze the metal bar from the holes on the side. The shell should then come off to reveal the inside. Once this was done, I was easily able to free the milk cars from their mix-up. One thing I really like about the milk car is watching all the moving parts inside. It's interesting to see how the milk car works. Once you have finished unclearing your jam, go ahead and repeat the process in reverse. Okay, so that was an overview of this particular accessory I have here on the layout and this is one of my favorites. I love watching the milk cars fly out of the car itself and I also, it's just a post-war classic. It just doesn't get any better than the milk car. So thank you for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see any more content similar to this. This has been another Sam's O-Gage Trains video and I will see you guys in the next video.